Hey guys, guess what? It's Angel and you're watching my latest video. Um, today is Thursday and um, it's a beautiful day outside and um, I gotta say that um, I am kind of getting in the fall mood. I am kind of feeling like I want to go out and search for some fall candles. I kind of am feeling that vibe, so I don't know if you guys are feeling that where you're at, but um, but I'm kind of I, I'm just kind of feeling like I want to get some candles burning and get that get those nice fall fragrances going in my house, um, and I'm definitely ready to start pulling out some sweaters and start wearing some sweaters, even though it's not cold enough outside to do that yet, but. Um, but anyway, uh, today's video is going to be, um, we're going to talk about some beauty products. If you um, haven't noticed already, I have a lot of makeup on my eyes and I talked uh, last week in a video about maybe changing some things up in my makeup routine. And um, I don't know that I will do this look on a regular basis, but I thought it would be fun to kind of do something different. And so um, I did go out and purchase um, an eyeshadow palette. Um, I purchased one from NYX um, because Number one, they are very economical. Um, there are tons of different companies out there that are making eyeshadow palettes, um, and you can buy them. That you can buy them from super expensive to really, you know, economical and not super expensive. And because I am not a huge eyeshadow wearer on a regular basis, I wanted to stay in the the non-expensive category because I am not going to wear this look on a daily basis but I wanted to um, just try it out and um, and for one I wanted to see if I could still even apply eyeshadow. I, <laughs> I have not really done uh, like a full eyeshadow eye in probably I would say over 15 years. I, I just I just don't do it. I, I wear usually just mascara and fill in my brows and do some blush and some lipstick and usually that's about it. So so anyway, um, I NYX has several different palettes that, that you can choose from. The one that I chose, the name actually is called Sex Bomb Femme Fatale. Okay? That name does not match my personality in any way, but what attracted me to this palette, and I'll show you the colors here, if you can see right here, see that red? That's what attracted me because um, if you know me and if you've watched my videos, you know I wear a lot of red on my face. And to see a red eyeshadow, I was just like, um, this has got to be the palette I buy. So there's a red here. It is a matte red. There is no shimmer in it. Um, then next to it, you have this kind of charcoal -y, very shimmery color, um, and then a very shimmery taupey color. <clears throat> next to that I really like this it's like a a cream color and it is a matte it is very flat and I like that a lot because I find that um, I do have a few eyeshadows that are that I've had for a while that do have shimmer in them and they're like a cream color I have a yellow that has a shimmer I have kind of a bronzy shimmer color. What I'm finding with the shimmers on my eyes is that I feel like the shimmers age my eyes. I don't know why. I just feel like they make me look older than what I want to look. So I, I'm really excited that this is a matte color. Um, and then there's another taupe right here next to it and it is also a matte color. And then next to that is a very, very, very black eyeshadow, and it is also a matte color. Um, and so you get six different colors. Um, two shimmers and the rest are all matte. Um, the colors that I have on my eyes today are obviously, I have this red, I have the cream color matte, and then I also have this black on and I'll just kind of show you where I have applied those. Um, the red, and I'll show you with the wand that I used. 
Um, the red I actually have applied just to the outer part, the outer half right here of my eye, and then the crease. I applied the red and then softened it up with the cream color, which is here. I softened that up on the inner part of my eye and then also on the upper part going up into the arch of the brow and um, did that on both eyes. And then I took a black eyeliner pencil from Palladio and this is actually a really um, it's a hard consistency eyeliner so this is not going to smudge at all it, it's it's I mean when you put it on it's like gonna stay there um, and I just did a just a single line um, I did a little tiny wing but not anything you know extravagant so just a, a, a pretty bold line on the top lid did not line the under lid at all in fact um, did not even put mascara on the bottom lid all I did on the bottom was do the white um, liner on the waterline um, is what I did there and um, one of the tricks that I've learned from Candy Johnson is that when you're applying an eyeliner one of the things that she does is she uses an angled brush like this and I picked this up it's uh, Sonia Kushak and it's um, brush number 108 and um, what what Candy does is once she applies the liner um, she takes the flat angled brush if you can see that and puts it in whatever color liner you've used dabs that in the um, in a powder consistency and then pats that over the liner and what that does she claims is it sets the liner in place so that it's not gonna smudge or go anywhere or mix with your eyeshadow during the day so I did that as well um, and then I simply curled my lashes and applied a mascara, which I don't have here with me. I'm going to pause for a moment and grab that. Okay, so the mascara that I used, I picked up um, just in, when you're standing in line at um, Ulta and Sephora has this too. They have like these little towers of little miniature things that you can try. They're like they're obviously impulse buys and um, I had I had used Benefit um, mascara in the past and I saw this little guy there is called it's their um, their real mascara and so I saw one of these there and I just impulse purchased um, this and so this is a mascara that I used um, and it is in black and you can see the brush here it's a pretty fat brush. If you can see on the end of the brush, there's like a little, um, it's, I don't know if you can see that very well. It's almost like a little spiky ball on the end of the brush there. And that works really well to kind of like get in to the different corners and push the, the lashes up. And I really like that. And so that is the mascara that I used. Um, then a couple weeks ago, I, a week ago I guess maybe, I um, normally I use, it's a Mary Kay eyebrow pencil um, that I've been using and I um, am just, it's basically almost gone. And so I've needed an eyebrow pencil and I have purchased like four in the last two weeks because I keep purchasing them and then I get them and then I feel like the color is not right and so then I go purchase another one and I try it and it's just been a trial and error thing so like last week I purchased this one from Palladio and it is in dark brown and I used it all last week and I really felt like um, number one I love it's got a little spoolie brush at the end so that once you've applied the pencil you can take the spoolie brush and kind of blend it I absolutely am in love with this little brush I think it is awesome I love it um, the color though of this Palladio um, 
eyebrow pencil it was not my favorite I thought it had a little too much red in it for me and so yesterday when I picked up the eye palette um, I picked up this little guy from NYX and it is in dark brown and um, it's just a you just kind of twist it up the pencil um, and that's the color that I have on today and I feel like it's more of a um, it's more the color that I'm looking for and it has the NYX pencil has a little brush at the end that you could also use to blend once you have the the pencil on um, but I did not use that brush because I am in love with this guy so I'm using this pencil and then I'm switching over to use the spoolie brush to blend and so that is what is on my eyes today and I feel honestly I feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. I feel like it's very heavy. I feel like, um, like, uh, I, I may do this look from time to time, but probably not on a regular basis. Um, I think that I really love the red eyeshadow, and I really, um, I like the the cream color. As well I think that I may try wearing the eyeshadow without the eyeliner and just the eyeshadow with the mascara to kind of tone it down a little bit so I may try that look out as well um, but I did say I was going to change things up and so I wanted to kind of try something different so that's what I've done um, so I will um, always I always put links um, down in this in the description box for all the products that I talk about and so I will do that. Um, let's see, what else? Um, there is in our house a snack monster that gets up usually <laughs> about one o'clock in the morning and goes to the kitchen and needs a snack. And I'm not gonna reveal who that snack monster is, but I will say that they are really, really enjoying um, a particular snack in general and I will share that with you. This is Lint Excellence Black Currant Dark Chocolate Bar <laughs> and it's fabulous. Okay, It has little bits and pieces of black currant and slivers of almonds in the chocolate and um, you can purchase these at Target and I'm sure you can purchase them at your regular grocery store. Um, but they are a wonderful um, late night snack. Just like a couple pieces um, usually satisfies the snack monster. Um, serving size says, um, it. the serving size recommended is four pieces. And um, a serving size is 200 calories. Okay. So, um, yeah, if you have a snack monster in your house, um, you can go and pick these up, and they're great. Um, so, a little plug for Lint Black Currant Dark Chocolate um, snack bars for your snack monster if you have one in your house. Um, any other things that I wanted to talk about? Um, on a sad note, um, not that I want to be talking about sad things all the time, but I did hear of um, Joan Rivers passing today. Um, so, you know, um, just my condolences to her family. She was 81 years old. She looked fabulous for 81. She had fabulous energy for being 81. Um, <clears throat> she uh, just, I mean, to be working like her work schedule at the age of 81 I just I marvel at that and um, anyway my heart and prayers go out to her family as they mourn her loss and her friends as well um, so I just wanted to um, to just uh, mention that and uh, just say rest in peace Joan Rivers and um, yeah so uh, any other things for today? Not really. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed your day and 
Um, hope you will have a good night. Don't know if any of you caught the movie that was on, I think it was on the History Channel called Houdini. It was a two-parter. Um, we watched that together, my husband and I, and um, I actually did not know that Houdini died from a ruptured appendix. Um, I actually, for some reason, probably because I had not have not studied on him, but for some reason I thought that he died doing his um, his Chinese water torture trick. But um, anyway, um, the History Channel, that was a really, um, I thought that was a really good um, production of Houdini. Um, could have been a little bit less racy in some parts. Um, my, my husband made the comment that part one was <laughs> the um, PG rated part and then part two was like the rated R part because it seemed like all of the really racy scenes came in part two but um, but anyway um, so we enjoyed that um, if you didn't get a chance to watch it maybe it will will replay or you can DVR it or I don't, whatever you whatever you can do but anyway that was a that was a interesting show to watch so anyway blah 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 okay so that is the video for today and I hope you guys have a fabulous evening and I will see you tomorrow bye